Welcome to my new series on processing tutorials. The first lesson is going to be the basics of processing. Now, I've seen your comments, and yeah, I'm going to start from the beginning then. So, this wait setup runs whenever the program starts. Basically, whenever you plus one, this function only always runs, but only once. This is like the when green flag clicked of the program. Next, we have, uh, now I'm just gonna be introducing one of in those functions. Next, we have draw. This runs every single frame of the program. This is the main core of it. I'll explain some of the other ones later, but these are just the ones you really need to know. For lesson one, we'll be making, actually, how do I? All right, for lesson one, we'll be making, well, some shapes and learn, learning the basics of processing. So, if you want to set the type first, the first type you do, in void setup, but full screen. Or, or with nothing inside of the brackets, add a semicolon on the end. A semicolon, a semicolon is just like adding like an end onto it. It's like like you clarify that that this is the end of the function. But, or if you want to make your screen five pound five pound pixels wide or five pound pixels big, you make that. All right, let's just go over full screen for now then. So now that we've got that down, let's try to draw some stuff. But right now, it's looking kind of bland. First, how do we set the background color? Right now, it's just default gray. You do background, obviously, with brackets. This is one of the inbuilt functions. And now you can use RB RGB. Hopefully you do understand RB RGB, but if not, you can set a color picker. And it should come up there. Next, you choose the color background you want. You can do zero. You can for this one. Uh, now, first, first, I'm gonna explain what these types are. This is a body. Um, this is basically all fun like clarifying a function that like it exists. Let's call, actually calling it. If you want to call a function. You do this, but saying the function, like say you created the function called background, and then put a semicolon at the end. Like that. But right, now that we have that, we have a background. It's the color of well, whatever you chose. Let's try drawing some things. Right. Well, well, what if you want to draw a square? That's not a function. You actually have to do rectangle. It's not actually rectangle, it's a rect, not rectangle, because that's how this works. Now we can clarify what positions you want to make it. For now, we can, for now, we're going to do width, which is the entire width of the um, applet or the app, whatever you're calling it, width divided by two. That's going to be in the center of the screen in the X. You can also do it, and you also do it for the height. Now, you can make the rectangle as big as you want. Now, because it's not square, it's a rectangle. So if we do that, boom, it gets placed in the center of our screen. But if you noticed, you probably didn't notice, but let's just, the actual width. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain. How rectangles and most shapes are drawn, um, they go from the top left corner. So say if we do zero, zero, which is in the like most top right left corner, look at this. The rectangle should be like in the center there. Well, you could, you could just, if you want to make it center, you could just do minus 25, minus 25. If it, well, if you're, if you're thinking it's 50, 50. But that's really hard, boring, and tedious. 
So there's a function for that. It's called shape mode. Also, see sometimes uses shape a lot, um, text align, mode, etc. It just doesn't really matter. Now you make your rectangle with the divided right by two, height divided by two, fifty. However, we wanted to do that, and then we have a few options to put in here. Now it expects an integer, but that's not going to work. Okay, maybe it does work. Um, but it won't actually do anything. For this, you can, if you want to get all the options, uh, you can go on the processing.org reference and set up sh shape mode. This, um, so now you can do corner, corners or center. Never mind. Okay, you're meant to actually do vector mode. So we do vector mode, and then we have some options here: corner, corners, center, or radius. I'll quickly explain this. Corner. This this is the basic default one, and it draws it from the top left. Corners. I don't actually know what that. All right. Uh, okay. So, if you're doing corners, um, you can. It is actually instead of doing x size and y size, you do the second x position and the second y position. This is useful if you want to make like GUIs. But to be fair, you wouldn't really need to do that anyway. So you could just use the normal version. Radius. You know, I don't understand that. All right, anyways. So I'm going to be doing center here because that's 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 just going to be better to explain. Now it's actually in the center. That's why the center of this rectangle is exactly half of the width of the screen. Now, let's try drawing some better things. Let's start with, with an ellipse. An ellipse is literally just a circle. I don't think I need to ex explain what a circle is, but yeah, an, an ellipse is a circle. Now let's, how about we do, instead of divide by two, we can, we can do minus 50. And we also need to specify an X size and a Y size. And there we go. We can, we can also extend this. All right, now you can continue drawing. You just need to specify all of your x and y values. If you want to convert, um, if you want to convert, like say you actually put in like a value instead of calculating it, like say you put in one thousand two hundred. Um, if it's in your y, the y is in the second one. The x is in the first. If it's in your y, take your screen dimensions and divide that by it. So. Um, divide that by your screen dimension. No, div um, okay. So take your dimensions or your screen. Uh, have a 1080 display. Um, if you're doing the X, it's actually 1920. Okay. It's actually 1920 for 1080p display because 1080p is 1080p is actually the Y of it. But we're, do we're calculating the Y. So let's do 1080. Divided by divided by one thousand two hundred one thousand two hundred zero point nine. So what we want to do is hide divided by zero point nine. Hide divided by zero point nine. Um, this is quite useful if you want to scale to like smaller, or larger monitors, and also when you export it. This is really annoying glitch. Whenever you export it, the res the resolution goes down. It may not happen with you, but it happens with me, so I mention it just in case. And if you think I have a solution, no, I do not at all. You can press Control you can press Control Shift E, or you can press Export Application once you save the sketch. 
So um, that's pretty much the entire tutorial. Oh yeah, if you want to fill in your, if like if you want to change the color, you refill with a semicolon at the end, like a normal function, and then the RGB value you wanna you wanna use. I'm just gonna use seventy five and two hundred thirty five. You need to have three values for that. All right, that's the, that's all I'm gonna explain for now. See ya later. Yes.